Good evening. Tonight is our last communication with the press lesson, lesson number three. We're going to discuss a press kit. What is the press kit? The press kit, there's nine things that need to be in the press kit. Guys, for the exams, please know that. Know the nine things. Also be able to explain it. Look at the mark allocation. If they ask the question for 18 marks and they say, what needs to be in a press kit? And then you know all nine items must be in, plus you need to explain. Sometimes they ask for seven with an explanation. So be very careful. Look at your mark allocation. Let's quickly look what needs to be in the press kit. The first thing is the historical fact sheet, the background of the company. Number two is the events program. How is the activities going to follow one another? What is the timeline of the different activities? Information on the speakers. It is very important to have information on the speakers so that the journalist can use that as a reference. Feature articles is important. You can add one or two extra feature articles for them to use if they want to use it. Broadcast information. At least have two paragraphs of broadcast information that they can use in the print media. That will be very nice for you if they use it. Reviews. Re have reviews of different editors that you worked with in the past or put, uh, put people that have uh, opinion leaders in your company that have something, some good reviews on your company. And you only share your positive reviews with them, not your negative reviews. Visual material. If you submit visual material, make sure it is of good quality and that it is very clear and that people can see it, especially on the photos and on the CDs that you give them. Information of upcoming events. That can be events like a press facility visit or a press reception. And at the end of the day, if the journalists love your section that you run that specific day, they will even contact you and say, I just want to find out, is the press facility visit still going on? And then it's your priority uh, to say yes or no. And you really try to keep to what you hand out to the press. Corporate gifts. Please always remember, if you give a corporate gift to a person, it always needs to be logoed with your company logo. It can be mugs, it can be pens, it can be um, mouse pads, it can be... Uh, uh, a passport cover, it can be an ID cover, but make sure the logo is on it. That is the press kit. It's very easy, very easy marks in the exam as well. Please just read your question and look at the mark allocation. Now, how to deal with the press and with the media. Guys, when something happens, stay cool. Stay cool, don't lose your cool. Always reply to the journalist as soon as possible. You do not want them to have information that is secondhand. You as a PRP of the company need to maintain your, uh, maintain your image to the outside world. So reply to the journalist immediately. If you do not have an answer, you don't. You just be honest. Say, unfortunately, I won't, don't have an answer for you, no, but I can find out and I will come back to you. Don't withhold any information. Do not refuse to give information. Never ever ask to see the preview of what the journalist has written. Unfortunately, you have to wait to see what they're going to be, what is going to be in the press. Be very careful of what you say and how you say it. That is very important. Even in everyday situation, you need to be careful of what you're saying. People, if the word is out, the word is out and it can hurt a person terribly. So be very careful of what you say and how you say it. Never argue about the value of the story. It is not you or the journalist that's going to decide what's going to be in the editor is the final person that is going to decide about what is the value of the story. Is there a story more important than this one or which story to run? Make sure you take the name of the editor, the, of the journalist that you spoke to and his contact details that if something else pop up, you can phone him with more information. 
or if things went is uh, when you say something that didn't make sense you can tell them listen sorry um i just want to make an apology but this was found and this was found so that you can keep track of him and then they know that but you are a very good and honorable contact treat all your journalists exactly the same don't have a bit broiki you don't want it because then you can harm the image of your own company if you make a promise keep your promise please never ever say i'll phone you back in the next 10 minutes or 30 minutes i will phone you back tomorrow and if you can phone me back today it is better but never ever over promise rather promise and keep you to your promise do not falsify information if you falsify information that can come back and bite you in the back keep your eye out on for the photographers it doesn't mean you must look and see what are they doing now what they're saying now guys they just want to see that picture where you you know you going for your nose or you uh, uh, they're looking for a bad picture so please look out for the photographer be aware of them let me rather say that be aware of them always stand up straight don't shout or clap a person or shout a finger to the person you better be careful or whatever the case might be because when you stress some certain actions can happen and try to be calm always be calm never ever act out because that photographer is going to catch you on that bad moment i promise you that that can happen if you must always also keep your labor and safety records available for references an immediate estimate damage can be made but it must be confined to a general uh, estimate of damage and you can tell them after the final uh, um, inspection you will come back to them to give them the the damage that was done always stay positive and mention facts don't go and throw a story oh auntie mary said to me this is this they don't want to hear about auntie mary's story stay to the facts they need to run deadlines and you must be ready for them to run the deadlines you want your story to be in the newspaper and if you keep more information back and you do not give them the facts they will not go and publish it guys now we finished with communication with the press it's a very interesting and intense uh, theme i really want you to go over everything of the work that we have done even if you if you have to go over all three videos go and do all the exercises and especially the summative assessment that you is in your textbook go and do that the summative assessment and make sure you've got a good understanding of the communication with the press goodbye